Anuria has officially released their CS2 cheat and we are about to check it out. So this is the beta build, but it's going to look exactly the same if you buy it yourself. They just gave me beta for my stream that I did beforehand. So let's get right into this little showcase, shall we? So first of all, we have the config tab here. If you guys want to create your own config, go over here, type in the name. And then what you're going to want to do is just press save and it'll add that to your config list. You can also load configs, obviously. You can also load from clipboard and copy from clipboard so those are together you can set configs to default and then remove configs as well moving over to themes this is basically you can change everything in the menu everything in the menu is completely customizable to how you'd want it so like i can do this little orange red thing here and i can just customize all of these however i'd like basically and this goes pretty far as well like there is quite a bit of stuff here as you guys can see there's a ton of stuff that you can customize with the menu move over to visuals now they do have quite a few features for visuals let's start with the player section right here the color mode you can either have as a ctt or a team enemy color mode so one of these colors is the team i think it's this one and then this one is the enemy so we'll do like enemies orange and then team red so you can also hide team right here this is basically uh how you want to draw the esp so if you want it always on then there you go if you want it to be spotted visible or dead you can also select those you can change the font and I'll show you guys that in a bit. Basically, there are just a ton of different fonts here. We'll turn on name actually just to show the differences. So this is smallest pixel, but you can also change to a bunch of different fonts with a bunch of different sizes as well. For box ESP, there is outline, which looks like that, fill, frame, which is the corners, and custom. Now, I think I'm just going to go for the outline. And again, you can change the colors for team or enemy here. And there's some customizability in this little wheel right here as well. Visible, I think, just changes the color of the ESP. So if you want them to be red when they're visible, and then let's say orange or a bit yellow when they're not visible, we can see that. Oh, I think it bugged out. There we go. So I just needed to change the box color right here. And now that is working. Obviously, you have your stuff like name ESP, if they're diffusing or not, the distance they are from you, health. They also have a health bar, which you can set to color or dynamic. Personally, I'm going to have mine on dynamic a rank revealer weapon text so that's what weapon they're holding weapon icon a head dot which is a little dot in the middle of the head hitbox skeleton esp and trace line which i'm not too sure what trace line does if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below i don't see anything different with this maybe that's just me being blind though moving over to world right here we have bomb bomb has dropped timer and bar so if you drop the bomb it's going to show this little bomb icon icon right there and if we plant the bomb you can see there's this little bar at the bottom that is this bar right here and then you also have the timer and this is also the perfect opportunity to show you guys the bomb information right here you can set it to only planted or icons and you can also resize it however you'd like if you want it massive i don't know why you'd want a massive but you can have a massive and here is the spectator list it's right here right we can make this transparent which is the hide background thing right here so if we kill one of the bots you guys can see right up here wesley is spectating me you guys can see that in the top right hand corner they also have radar which looks like this you can resize the radar however you'd like and you can have a few things here you can have the cross disabled the map disabled grenades disabled view angles disabled and health disabled and you can also hide the background which i mean i personally like quite a bit so i can just kind of put it up there and resize it like so and kind of just match it up and there you go it's like it's the regular mini map but it's uh you know it's with anuria and there it is in action they also have the velocity graph which doesn't look like it's working right now although you can hide the background from the velocity graph as well they also have crosshair right here so if you're holding an op you can have like a dot in the middle of your screen like that a cross which looks like that and simple which looks like that and sniper only means that if you are holding out a sniper the crosshair will be there but if you're holding out another weapon it won't be there and there's also show recoil if i go ahead grab this ak right here and let's make it a cross so it's the easiest one to see you guys can see that it has a recoil 
crosshair. They also have oof arrows or off screen arrows. And if you look away, you guys can see those are working just fine. So yeah, that's everything in visuals. It was a little confusing at first to config everything, but uh, obviously they have a lot of customization. You can even move stuff around here in this UI if you want it to be somewhere else. So yeah, this isn't, it's, it's pretty good. They're pretty good visuals. They're decent. Personally, I don't love the overall design of them, but I do like that they're a little bit customizable so you can kind of choose what you like. All right, moving over to aimbot now. This is what the aimbot tab looks like. They have a bunch of different sections for different types of weapons. We're just going to stick with default now since that's the easiest. So first of all, let's start with activation. You guys can select off key or auto. Auto meaning it does it automatically for aimbot and trigger bot. You can also set obviously an aimbot keybind, a trigger bot keybind, and a trigger aim key. And trigger aim is basically just magnetic trigger bot. So let me set this up real quick and we'll also try out the trigger bot as well. Moving over to legit, they have 3D FOV. You can also set the FOV all the way up to 180 degrees. I'm going to set mine on about five, which is pretty blatant just to show you guys how it looks. They have two different smoothing types, linear and constant. We're going to choose linear for now and smoothing. We're going to leave at zero for now, just to test it when we have everything set up. And then we're going to change it to legit settings. And they have a bunch of other stuff in here. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you guys want to config all this stuff you can but fov and smoothing is all you really need for a legit bot over here in targeting you guys can set the hitbox priority and choose a hitbox list let's just go for head for now you can select multi points and change the head and body scale you can change the min damage of the cheat and you can also select all of these different flags for the aim bot moving over to trigger bot we have the hitbox list obviously the hit chance of the trigger bot the fov of the trigger bot the smoothing of the trigger bot, the delay of the trigger bot, and how many bullets the trigger bot should fire. And then you also have smoke check and flash check. And in accuracy, you have hit chance. And this is where you have your RCS. So you can do smooth RCS, aiming RCS, or standalone. And you can obviously scale your pitch and your yaw, and you can select auto shoot. So for now, let's test out the aimbot, see if it works, first of all. So if I shoot here, it should just snap right to the head. That's kind of what I've configured it for. And Yep, it does that correctly for sure. Seems to be pretty responsive. Let's try a one shot. Okay, so it looks like there's still a bit of a problem with flicking, but that can definitely be fixed in the future. Let's go ahead and try some more legit settings. So let me do like one FOV 80 smoothing and let me put on all of these hit boxes and just see how this feels. Yep, it, it definitely feels like it's working. I can feel the aimbot pull. And it feels like a normal amount of pulling, for sure. Now let's try out the RCS. I'm going to put the RCS on standalone and just put it to 100% and just let's see how accurate it is, right? Yeah, I mean, seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty natural. I mean, obviously 100 RCS is not very natural. You should probably put it on maybe like 10% to 25%. I usually like 10% just because it gives me a little bit of a boost, but not that much. Yeah, I mean, it feels, feels pretty good. It's not bad. There's probably some things I didn't cover in this video specifically, uh, either because it's a feature that got released in the future after uploading this video, or I just didn't have enough time to go through everything. But that's Anuria for CS2 for you guys. Now, Anuria is 15 euros a month, so it is a little bit of a heavy price to pay for a legit cheat. But if you guys are looking for something that is a decent cheat, and if you guys like this style of visual, this style of menu, right, and you don't mind splurging a little bit of cash, then... You know, this is this is definitely not a bad pickup for sure. Anuria is also pretty good with uh, detection, right? So they spent a lot of time making sure that the cheat was safe to use and everything. So it's definitely not a bad choice if you're going to go for a more expensive cheat. With that being said, let me know what you guys think about Anuria in the comment section down below. Is it missing anything that you guys wish was in there? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, boys.